On the tale of the bloodiest Chicago summer in 20 years, police believe there's strength in numbers. Tonight, a commitment to hire nearly 1,000 new officers over two years. But as CBS 2's Audrina Biggis reports, what's missing is the money to pay for them. A piece of a crime strategy, but not all of it, says the man in charge. We're going to add officers to areas experiencing violent crime, and we're going to fill vacancies in districts in the communities across the city. Within two years, the plan is to add 500 street cops and 200 detectives, then beef up the ranks with 112 more sergeants and 50 additional lieutenants. There are just over 12,500 sworn officers on the force right now. The new plan would raise that number to more than 13,500 by 2018. But that's not factoring in attrition, retirement, or filling the current 400 vacancies. The mayor delivered for us. Johnson says this hiring binge is a task handed down by Mayor Rahm Emanuel with the commitment to give the resources needed to make it happen. The city of Chicago is facing something we haven't seen. Something happened in the last, uh, you know, nine months, which we need to then address with additional response and additional resources. The city's homicide rate is up 50 percent this year, on pace to exceed 600 murders by the end of 2016. The violence in Chicago is not a police driven problem and it's not just for the police to resolve. We need the police, the community. The fraternal order of police tells us tonight that this plan falls short of the 2000 officers the FOP recommended, but still calls this an obvious necessity. And tonight, even though Mayor Rahm Emanuel hasn't said how he will pay for this, he did say that he will give more details tomorrow night at Malcolm X College. Live outside Chicago Police Headquarters, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Audrina, thank you.